generation, we have an obligation to work on behalf of the next generation. We've got to work to make their lives better. It's that fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. this journey in the depths of winter, nearly two years ago, on the steps of the old state capitol in Springfield, Illinois. I knew that the size of our challenges had outgrown the smallness of our politics. As president, I will need the help of all Americans to meet the challenges that lie ahead. That's why I'm asking people like you, who fought for change during the campaign, to continue fighting for change in your communities. And with your voices and your votes, you made it clear that at this moment, in this election, there is something happening in America. But challenging as they are, it's not the magnitude of our problems that concerns me the most. It's the smallness of our politics. America's faced big problems before, but today our leaders in Washington seem incapable of working together in a practical, common sense way. Politics has become so bitter and partisan, so gummed up by money and influence, that we can't tackle the big problems that demand solutions. And that's what we have to change first. The only measure of my success as president, when people look back five years from now or nine years from now, is going to be, did I get this economy? What I want to do is to delay creating jobs for people who are losing work, providing families some direct relief in the form of middle class tax cuts, in the form of uh, tax breaks for small businesses. And I want to make sure that we are investing this money in a way that is going to not just put people back to work right now, but will continue to pay high dividends. Think inside us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better is waiting for us around the corner. But only if we're willing to work for it and fight for it, to shed our fears and our doubts and our cynicism, to glory in the task before us of remaking this country block by block, precinct by precinct, co county by county, state by state. There is a moment in the life of every generation when if we are to make our mark on history, this spirit must break April of 1775, a simple band of colonists, farmers and merchants, blacksmiths and printers, men and boys, they left their home and their families in Lexington and Concord to take up arms against the tyranny of an empire. And the odds against them were long, and the risks were enormous. For even if they survived that particular battle, any ultimate failure would bring charges of treason and death by hand. There's something happening. There's something happening when Americans who are young in age and in spirit, who've never participated in politics before, turn out in numbers we have never seen because they know in their hearts that this time must be different. We let those who couldn't vote to march and organize and stand for freedom that led them to cry out. It may look dark tonight, but if I hold on to hope, tomorrow will be brighter. That's what this election's about. That's the choice we face right now. One person's struggle is all of our struggles. We recognize ourselves and each other to make sure that opportunity is there not just some people but, but all of us and that's the country I believe in that's what's worth fighting for